it's lovely to see you all here. If there's one thing that makes me really happy, it's seeing lots of children when I come to church. And there's more. Hello. Come and join us. Mm -hmm. well, this morning I'm going to tell you a story about a family. And the youngest one was Jamie. He was about seven. And there was a big sister who was 18 called Sarah. And there were two other children as well. And one day, Mummy and Daddy woke up in the morning and they had a phone call from Grandma and Grandma. And they thought about it. And at breakfast time, they said to the children, do you think you children would be good enough to be left at home on your own with big sister Sarah? What do you think they said? Yes. Do you think it'd be fun to be left alone with a big sister? No mummy and daddy for a couple of days? What do you think? Well, their children thought about it and they said, yes, we think we can stay all alone while you go and help grandma and grandpa because they're sick and their, their heating system has broken down. There's all sorts of problems. So you go and help them and we'll be really, really good. So mummy and daddy said, what you must do is you must always do what big sister Sarah says. And when we come back in a few days, the house must be totally tidy because the next day we've got a special guest. So I want you to do what Big Sister Sarah says and be good, take care of each other, and we'll be back very soon. Well, what would you do if Mummy and Daddy weren't in your house? Have a think about that. What would you do? Work. You'd do what? Work. You'd work. Words. You like doing what would you like to do? What would you like to do? Sorry? You'd want to go with them, yes. Well, I think lots of us would want to go with them too. But big sister Sarah said that she was big enough to look after them. And they decided to have lots of fun. So they watched their favorite DVDs. They made popcorn. They had a big popcorn fight. They went in the garden. They played football and they got muddy shoes. They came back into the house. They had pizza and ice cream for every meal. And they had a wonderful, wonderful time until the last day, until the last day, because they looked around their house and it was a big mess, a really big mess. They hadn't done any washing up, they hadn't done any tidying up, the hall was full of dirty shoes and they thought, uh-oh, mummy and daddy are gonna come home soon. And big sister Sarah started to get, well, maybe we'd call it bossy. So she said to James, I want you to go and help your sister and pick up all the popcorn in the living room. So he picked up all the popcorn, that was quite a difficult job. But he found a pound coin down the back of the sofa, so that was worthwhile. Now he thought, now I can go and play. And then big sister Sarah said, oh James, can you go and help your big sister do the washing up? Well he wasn't quite so happy about that. There were piles and piles of dirty plates and it was a big mess. And he was really grumpy, he hated washing up. And he finished that and he thought, now can I go out to play? And big sister Sarah said, no, Jamie, look at all the shoes in the hallway. You have to clean all those shoes while the rest of us do some other work. Oh, how do you think he felt then? All those shoes, lots of muddy shoes. And he hated cleaning shoes. But he sat on the floor cleaning the shoes. And he was nearly, nearly finished. And while he was doing that, big sister Sarah, she was dusting in the dining room, which had very nice wallpaper that mummy and daddy had just put in there. And this is where the guests would come the next day. And James um, was cleaning the shoes, and big sister Sarah said, and when you finish that, you can go and clean the bathroom. How do you think Jamie felt? I can see by some of your faces that you'd go, oh no, not any more work, not the horrible job. And do you know what he did? He was so cross. He picked up the shoe polish, but I'm not using shoe polish because I made a bit of that before. And he threw it at his sister, and what happened? He made a big mess with the shoe polish on the wallpaper. <gasps> what was he going to do? Oh no, this was Mummy and Daddy's best new room. And he made a mess of the wallpaper. So he got a cloth and he tried to wipe it, but the mess got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And he couldn't fix this mess by himself. And he was so, so sad, he didn't know what to do. He ran upstairs and he hid in his bedroom and he stayed there the rest of the day. He didn't even come down to pizza and ice cream. He felt so sad. Finally, he went to sleep. And the next morning, Mummy and Daddy had come home. And they were so happy to see Jamie. But Jamie was kind of sad, and they didn't know why. And we thought maybe he was sick. 
And then after breakfast, Mummy said, remember, we've got visitors coming, and they're going to come for dinner today. And Jamie thought, oh, no, not only are Mummy and Daddy going to find out what a big mess I made of the wallpaper, the visitors will too. And he didn't know how to say it. And then Mummy said, can you go and set the table for dinner? And he's like, oh, no, I don't want to go in there. I don't want to see the mess I made. I feel so, so bad. And he very carefully opened the door of the dining room. And what did he see? What did he see? No mess. It was amazing. He went up close and looked, and it was just as perfect as before. He was so happy. He was amazingly happy. But how has this happened? What has happened? Who has sorted out my big mess? And then he thought, who do you think it was? His big sister, Sarah. So he went to find big sister, Sarah, and she said to him, yes, Jamie, I fixed your mess because I love you very much. And after you went to bed, I went up in the attic and I found the wallpaper and I cut a big piece out and I stuck it on the wall and Mummy and Daddy never did find out. Wouldn't you like to have a nice big sister like that? I wonder what happens when you make a mess. Do you sometimes make a mess? No? Wow, that's amazing. I sometimes make a mess. And I wonder when you do make a mess, can you always clear it up by yourself? No, sometimes we can, but sometimes we make such a big mess, we can't clear it up by ourselves and we need some help. And I wonder who helps you clear up your mess. Sometimes it's a big sister, sometimes it's mummy or daddy, but I know someone who can clear up every mess I make in my life. Do you know who that is? Who's the big brother in heaven who clears up all the messes in our life? Jesus, yes, Jesus. Let's pray and thank him for that. Father God, we want to thank you that we have a lovely big brother in heaven, Jesus, who has cleared up all our mess and made everything right for us again. We thank you for his love. We help us not to make messes in our life, and when we do, we help us to remember that Jesus is always there to help us, no matter how bad it looks. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. You can go back to your seats now.